Well, again, folks, Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And I've got a really excellent guitar to share with you folks today. This was actually custom commissioned by a customer of ours by the name of Steve. And uh, Steve had done his homework. He had a pretty darn good idea uh, of what he was hunting for in a custom acoustic guitar, kind of a high-end acoustic. And he was pretty heavily inspired by a guitar we previously had in stock, which was a Santa Cruz OM that had a moon spruce top and coca bolo back and sides. And I remember that guitar well. Uh, beautiful guitar with a truly three-dimensional sound to it. And um, uh, we were kind of trying to achieve uh, a similar sound, similar effect that that special guitar had. And I think Santa Cruz has really gone above and beyond with this very special instrument here that, uh, that Steve had made. Like I said, you can see that the top that we started with here is a beautiful moon spruce top. And I got to tell you, this is among the most perfect European spruce tops I've ever seen. Just really tight grain really consistent across the entire soundboard and just a beautiful, very, very blonde color. Just really a perfect top. The body, the neck, and the headstock are all bound in very flamed koa. Nice kind of a medium gold color to it. We've got a abalone rosette going right around the sound hole as well and tortoise shell pick guard. Back and sides of this guitar are a wonderful straight grain set of Coco Bolo. Uh, nice orangish red color to it, but, but really a nice straight grain and a very non-obtrusive, very thin black uh, back strip going all the way down the center of the back as well. Really fully showcasing the beauty of that wood. And in fact, this particular set of wood is quite similar to the original Moon Spruce and Coco Bolo we had. Uh, Steve was pretty specific. He wanted a set as similar to that as, as we could get. Again, Santa Cruz really did a great job of uh, accommodating that. All the way up on the headstock, you can see a beautiful black ebony veneer. And all the way up top is the full moon uh, custom inlay we've actually done on several of the moon spruce top guitars with Santa Cruz. I love that headstock inlay. So niggle Waverly tuning machines with snake wood buttons. I think that snake wood really ties in nicely with all the koa binding on the guitar. It's a one and three quarter inch nut with a custom two and a quarter bridge spacing. So really comfortable guitar to play, really ideal for finger style. And I can tell you the, the makeup of this guitar makes for an incredibly dynamic and really rich sounding guitar. Uh, good overtone presence here uh, and just a really nice um, kind of space filling sound all on its own, which is really great. The fingerboard, in my opinion, is one of the coolest parts of this guitar. You can see it's an ebony fingerboard uh, with the Santa Cruz logo there at the 12th fret, but there's actually three heart inlays going down the fingerboard of this guitar placed very strategically on certain frets. You can see we have one here at the 3rd, one at the 7th, and one all the way up here at the 16th. And, and this is an awesome personal touch uh, that Steve had included on the fingerboard here. It actually represents three different special women in Steve's life, all of which um, represent one of their birthdays, again, being on the 3rd, the 7th, and the 16th. Uh, very cool personal touch there, and I gotta say, Santa Cruz did a knockout job uh, with these particular custom inlays as well. Uh, the guitar is braced with Adirondack braces, which have all been attached with hot hide glue, which is a, a wonderful touch. Um, especially in the long run of the guitar. It's really going to make for uh, a really responsive guitar that has kind of a, a nice sense of immediacy to it, which I got to tell you, it's got a lot of already. So we will gladly take a listen to this beauty now. 